This is Neil from buildyourownwebsitetips.com and we are going to register a domain name. We decided to go with GoDaddy because they have a good price and good service and whether or not you like their commercials or not, personally I'm not a fan, they do provide a pretty good service. So I'm going to enter BYO website tips.com Again, this is just a variation of my buildyourownwebsitetips.com that I wanted to get for easier typing. Hide this. And it's $2.99 for the first year. I believe it's $14.99 additional years. I'm going to continue. Now this is an important decision to make. Number one, privacy here. Protect my personal information. What that means is when someone does a who is search, they can find your information that you enter here. And then you can get spam emails, phone calls, and even texts coming to you trying to sell you on website design, search engine optimization, and all sorts of other services related to your website. So if you don't want a bunch of spam, you might want to select this. And it's $7.99 per domain per year. I'm going to skip it because this is just a tutorial trying to save a few bucks, but you may want to consider that. An example of what happens if you do a who is on a domain name. Here is the who is for my site. You scroll down here, you can see it has my name, address, phone, email, all of that stuff is here. And if you don't want that exposed, that's why you'd want that privacy. Step two, your options for hosting or a website builder. These are options if you don't already have a host, which I do, but these can actually be pretty good options, especially if you're just starting out on a quick site and don't want to do a lot of extra work or get into the technical details. You could pick as low as $1 a month, get a website builder hosted on GoDaddy, very simple site, but it's good enough for a lot of really small sites. I'm not doing that because I already have my own host. I'm just linking this domain to my existing host. Step three, email. I don't really see a reason to do this. Most hosting companies provide email with it. The basic email systems that they usually provide with a hosting solution are fine and you can usually access that from your email client anyway. So. No thanks on that. I will continue. Okay, and here we are in our cart, so we can check out. See it uh, went to two years automatically because that's what the promo was. Two ninety nine for the first year is only valid if you do two years. Then it's fourteen ninety nine per year. If I did one year, it would be just a slight bit less, twelve ninety nine. So for five bucks more. I think the second year is worth it. ICANN fees, that's 18 cents a year. That's something that's on all registrars. You have to pay that, but that's not much. Don't need website builder, as I said before. Add extra domains if you want. They'll, they will always try to upsell you. You can even round up to charity if you want. I'm going to proceed to checkout. And I'm a new customer. Now I'm going to fill out my billing information. This is the normal stuff. Name, address, email. Pick your username, a PIN number, and a password. Your credit card information, or you can do PayPal or a gift card or checking account if you like. So I'm going to pause, fill that in, and then continue. And now that I've filled in all my information, I'll click on continue. Now you can review your order, make changes if you need to. And I'll just click place your order. And we're done. We can click here. And that will take you to your domain information where you can manage your domain and point it to your hosting account if you wish. One more thing. After you sign up, you'll get this email to verify your email address. All you have to do is click on that button and it will verify it. And then you can just click here to go to your account.